Coding was hard for me until I discovered three keys. And after applying these three keys, my life changed dramatically. I received my first national level award in coding while still studying. But that was just the beginning. I also collect many coding interviews with prestigious organizations like United Nations, National Health Services UK, ICR, and the list goes on. And whenever I have to change my job, I always have more than two offers. Not only this, but also I did freelancing for a few years and got contract from many prestigious clients around the world. And it all happens because coding is not hard anymore for me. And in this video, I'm about to share these three keys with you. And I can assure you, your life will never be the same. While I can't predict exactly when things will change for you, one thing is certain, they will change for sure. Why? I have a very simple logic. If something can work for me, it can work for you. Period. Now let me introduce the three keys with CAP. C A P. The first key starts with choose one language. Choosing one language and committing to it is essential. So before you learn any language, just choose one language and commit to it. Don't become victim of shiny object syndromes. It's the biggest problem I have seen, especially in new developers. Shiny object syndrome refers to the tendency to chase new exciting opportunity or fun at the expenses of current goals. What it means for you as a developer? This means you might get tampered with new or shiny tech or losing focus what you are currently doing. So this is really important. Select a language and dedicate yourself to that language for at least 6 to 12 months. And I cannot stress this enough. It is the key. Now the next question you might have, how you can choose a language and stick to it for 6 to 12 months. The selection of language should be based on two parameters. First, it should be easy to learn. And second, it must have an excellent demand in the job market. I'm here to guide you to select your first programming language based on data, survey and research. But before diving into my finding, let me answer these questions. First, it should be easy to learn. Why? Let's say you are learning your first programming language and it's hard to learn. Then you will lose focus very soon. Trust me, over time, you will lose interest. And you do not want that, right? Now the next question is, it must have an excellent demand in the job market. Why? If you are learning a language that has no demand, then what's the point of learning language? Knowledge is not a power, applied knowledge is a power. I hope it all makes sense. If I were to start learning a programming language, I will choose JavaScript. Here is why. JavaScript ticks off two major boxes for me. It's easy to learn and has high demand in the job market. But that's not all. JavaScript is not only a front-end language. It is a back-end language too, thanks to Node.js. And it allows developer to work on both the client side and the server side with a single language. And JavaScript has a massive ecosystem. Plus, JavaScript has a huge range of tools and extras. This includes like Angular and React for building websites and TypeScript to make JavaScript even better. It gives developers everything they need to create a strong and growing gap. To back this up, let's look at some data from Stack Overflow. According to their 2023 survey, JavaScript emerged as the top programming language choice, and I didn't rely just on the latest data. I also checked the Stack Overflow survey results from 2022. To no surprise, JavaScript maintained its top spot then as well. And also I have a strong interest in web technologies. So definitely if I have to start now, I will choose JavaScript and stick to it for 6 to 12 months. And here I will encourage you to choose your own language, to do your own research. But once you choose the language, just stick to it. So you are done with C of CAP Technique. Choose a language. And now it's time to jump on A of CAP Technique. And A stands for Apply the Fundamentals. The fundamental of any language are the pillar of that language. And here are the four key pillars that cover these fundamentals. And the first is Syntax. This is the foundation pillar and involve understanding the rules of writing valid code. Syntax define how we express operations, variables, and control flow in the code. And the second is data types and variables. It is also a critical pillar. It contains understanding both primitive data types such as numbers, string, boolean, and complex data types like objects and array. And the third is control structure. This pillar focuses on using conditional statements and loops like if else and for while. And finally, functions. The fourth pillar involves defining and invoking functions to organize code into reusable pieces. These pillars are a foundation to programming and provide a structured approach to learning and mastering any programming language. And also, it's equally important to familiarize yourself with the IDE and the tools which you are going to use during the development. And once you understand the fundamentals, you can progress to more complex aspects of any programming language. Alright, once you applied the fundamental, it's time for the P of CAP technique. 
and P stands for practice regularly. There's no alternate of practice. Practice is essentially for perfection. Practice makes a man perfect. If you learn to code but don't practice, it's of very little use. There's a popular saying, knowledge is not power, applied knowledge is power. And believe me, practice will boost your confidence. And here's a bonus tip for your practice sessions. Create a GitHub repository and push your code there. Start with simple programs when practicing. For example, if I have to practice JavaScript, my chosen language, I will start with Hello World example. And then push my code to GitHub repo. And of course, I would set aside specific times for practicing every day. But hang on a second, what's the idea of GitHub repo? It will serve many purposes. First, it acts as a portfolio. Portfolio of your coding journey. Showcasing your progress and projects to potential employees or collaborations. Second, it encourages a habit of version control. And it's an essential skill for any developer working in a team or long-term projects. Finally, it provides a platform for feedback. Feedback from the coding community. It allows you to learn from others, improve your code, and even contribute to open source projects. Keeping your work on GitHub not only helps you to track your own growth, but also open up opportunities for collaboration and professional development. And trust me, this minor habit could be a game changer for you. You can try the CAP technique for six months, and I can guarantee you, your life will undergo a massive transformation. Your knowledge will expand dramatically, your skills will reach new heights. And if you want to learn more about coding, especially clean coding, here is a video, 20 clean architectural tips that any developer can use, beginner or experienced. And thank you very much for watching.